Today in this video, I am going to show you how to install the Geo server under the Tomcat. So we will install the Tomcat first, and then we will configure the Geo server or install the Geo server under the Tomcat. So first of all, uh, we'll go on the Google. Uh, we'll install the Tomcat. So we'll download the Tomcat. So just type Tomcat on Google. Great. Uh, just click on the download. Mm, and uh, on the left side of the page you can see the various versions of the link for the various versions of the tomcat so, tomcat 7 8 9 so we'll download the latest one let's click on the tomcat 9 scroll down the page uh, we will download the windows service installer see see this there is a link for windows service installer 32 bit or 64 bit to both just click on this this link so you will be able to download the setup for the tomcat so I have already downloaded this already. It is in my machine Apache Tomcat 9.0.16.exe. Now secondly, we'll download GeoServer. Just go on Google again. Type GeoServer. Enter it. And again, if you see the download link is there, just click on the download. Um, and under this there are two options maintenance and stable version so we'll go for the stable one click on the geo server so various packages the link for the various packages are available on geo server page so we will download the web archive var file so we will deploy this var file under the tomcat we will not download the ins windows installer instead of that we will download the web archive var file just so click on the web archive so you will be able to download the zip file for the Geo server var file. See this like this, you will be able to download. Just unzip this zip file, extract this file like this. So now you can see geo server.var file has been generated on your machine. So now, first of all, we will install the Tomcat software. Just double click the, the Tomcat exe which we which we have down which you have downloaded. Click next. Okay, I'll just minimize all the windows. Yes. Then click on I agree. Uh, now there are options for installing the various items. So just check on the host manager and also the examples. Click next. Now this page shows the configuration for the Apache Tomcat. So by default it will take the port number 8080. So you don't have to change anything. Just let it be default 8080 and Windows service name Tomcat 9. But I am changing it to 8081 because I have already installed an instance of Tomcat which is already running on 8080. So I have to change the port number to 8081 or 8082. I can give anything, but I am giving it here 8081. You may or may not change this. If you don't have any service running on 8080 port, don't change it. Otherwise, if you have any service running on 8080 port, you have to change it to some other value like 8081 or 8082. Just give the username password for the Tomcat administrator login. Like I am giving here admin username, uh, sorry username and password you can give anything whatever you want. So I am giving some password here. Also Windows service name, you don't have to change this. In my case, I have to change this. I'll show you why. When I'm clicking it, it is saying the message came. A service with the given service name is already installed on this machine. Please choose, choose another service name because as I already told you, I have another, already I have one instance of Tomcat which is running on 8080 port. That's why I have changed the port number to 8081 and I have changed the service name to 9.1. You don't have to do that just leave the port number and service name by default just give the username and password make it next this will ask you the path of the java on your system so if you have java installed already on your system it will take by default like this in my case it is taking from program files java already it is taking but if you don't have java installed on your folder you will not be able to install this path will come as empty so you have first you have to install java if you don't have java installed 
So what you can do, if you don't have Java on your machine, just go on Google, type Java, download, here download, you click on Java, download free Java software and you will get the link for free Java download. Just click on this, it will download the Java for you. Just click on this, you see this. This Java setup will be downloaded on your PC and you will just install this Java. I have already I have already installed the Java on my machine so I don't need to do this. Automatically it is fetching the it is fetching the link for the Java automatically. Just click next and it is asking for the destination folder for the installation of Tomcat. By default it is installing under program files and it has created the folder Apache software foundation Tomcat 9 blah blah so just leave it like this default I will install this now it is installing the Tomcat application on your machine now just uncheck this just let it be checked run Apache Tomcat finish now it has started the window, uh, Tomcat service so if you see on the bottom bar on the right side this icon this is Apache Tomcat icon just click on this double click you see this service status is coming as started so you have started the service of Tomcat so currently the startup type is manual means every time whenever the machine has been switched on what is started I have to come here and start this service but if you select this as automatic and you make it apply so whenever i will shut down my machine or so, so, sorry restart my machine or switch on my machine automatically it will start the service you need not to start the service every time manually so i just make it okay now we will check whether we have installed the tomcat successfully or not just go on the web brow uh, any browser type local host then call on and type the port number which you have given in my case i have given 8081 but in your case maybe if you have taken the default port number it should be 8080 if you are seeing this it means you have successfully installed the tomcat which they have written here now what we will do we have to configure we have to install geo server we have to deploy geo server under tomcat now what we will do just copy the var file which you have downloaded or extracted the zip file just copy this and browse through the tomcat installation folder c drive program files apache software foundation tomcat under the web apps folder just paste the geoserver.var file like this now you'll see automatically geoserver folder has been created is created in this folder you see this this geoserver folder sorry this one so it means you have deployed the geoserver under the tomcat now what we have to do one more thing we have to do just stop the uh, tomcat service and again start the uh, tomcat service so like this before just uh, go on the bottom bar here you see this sign of tomcat monitor just click on this you can stop service from here just click on the stop otherwise you can find this tomcat manager under installation folder also program files apache top software foundation tomcat bin this one tomcat 9.1 w.exe just double click on this so you either you can go to this configure uh, application in the bin folder or you can go on the on the bottom bar you can find this thing or you can type here also configure
टाइप टॉम कैट मॉनिटर टॉम कैट और कॉन्फिगर टॉम कैट यू कैन लाइक दिस जस्ट ओपन दिस एंड स्टॉप द टॉम कैट सर्विस एंड अगेन स्टार्ट द सर्विस देन यू विल बी एबल टू या इट हैज बीन स्टॉप्ड नाउ अगेन स्टार्ट द सर्विस टॉम कैट see it has been started now what we'll do on the same page we'll put slash localhost 8081 slash geo server it will take some time to open this as you have started the service again so it may take a minute or so see it will now this is a geo server it has been so if you are seeing this page it means or there is other another way to go to the geo server like you simply write localhost you just open the apache web page go on the click on the manager app so it will ask you the in my case it is not asking the password but in your case it will ask you the password and username and password which you have given while installing after that you will see this geo server and it is showing start and if you want to stop the service you can stop from here so if you click geo server here then also you will be able to the, able to open the geo server otherwise you can directly type simply you can directly type localhost colon 8080 slash geo server geo server or if you may if you enter it will show you the home page of the geo server now by default uh, by default the username and password for the geo server is and geo server this is uh, the by default the username is admin and password is geo server you have logged in into the geo server now there are various options uh, like under data layer preview workspace stores layers layer groups etc etc wms web uh, web web uh, <coughs> wfs the feature services wms uh, wcs web coverage services so various services are there the mapping services so this uh, i will make another separate video for this how to how to um, how to put your layers gis layers such as rasters and vectors satellite images into the geo server for web publishing so that's a separate i will make a separate video for that so if you see stores you can create stores here raster stores suppose you, you click on add new store so you can create shape file stores directory of shape files post gis database if you have layers inside the post gis database you can create store from that you can create geotiff image stores here so so i'll make another separate video for that you need not to worry just click on the layer preview you can see here there are few of the layers sample layers are already inside the geo server it comes with the default uh, default configuration or default installation so if if you click any of these layers suppose i click here water boundary you can see yes you can see this this is the vector layer if you click on this it will show you the information about the feature 
so this is how you can see your layer which you have uh, which you have kept inside the geo server so it means your geo server is running perfectly so you can you can change the login password and username from authentications authentication or passwords here there are settings so you can you can, all, you can always change username and password just i log out this so it shows that now your geo server has been configured under the tomcat so this video is all about this only i'll make a separate video for the installation of post gis how to install the postgres and post gis and how to put layers inside the how to upload the shape files in the post gis database and how to serve those shape files through geo server so what we do will what we will do will put some layers inside the post gis and then we'll publish through the geo server and then we'll map it on map it on the front end using the open layers of geo xt so in later on i will I will upload the videos about the front end APIs also open layers and GXT how to use that for making the front end web GIS application. So I'll make that video soon. One by one I will make video. This is the, so this is the first step for making a web GIS application using the open source tool. So you have installed a server, web server on your PC like Tomcat. Then you have installed a geo server, means GIS server you can say, geo special data server through which you will serve your G, uh, geo special data raster or vector vector uh, vector files so this is the first step you have web server and geo server inside it now second step what we'll do we'll install the special database like post gis so we'll have database we'll put layers inside there after that we'll make a front end front end application which will show which which, which will be used for showing your various gis layers so we'll, I'll show you in another video how to use open layers and GeoXT to make a beautiful WebGIS application. On the back side we have GeoServer and PostGIS database. So one by one I'll make a small small videos for that. So that's it for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.